here we are on the Lazine stand at Eurobike 2016 and we're looking at a brand new floor pump. You might not think this is a floor pump, just looking at it. It looks more like a kind of bazooka or something, <laughs> um, but it is indeed a floor pump. This is the Lazine Digital Pressure Overdrive. So what the hell is going on here, you say? What's with this huge barrel? Um, you might have heard that a lot of tyres are going tubeless now, uh, where we're running a clincher tyre with some sealant and no inner tube. Uh, this has started with mountain biking, and so this product is designed specifically really for those tubeless systems, is to help you inflate the tyre and get it to pop onto the rim, um, especially with the larger tyres like the plus size mountain bike tyres, but it will become more and more relevant also for like gravel tyres and large volume road tyres up to 30 mil, where you need to quickly inflate the tyre to get it to seat to the rim. So what you do here is essentially you've got two things going on. You've got the pump, which is recognisable as a fairly standard high pressure pump unit from the Zion with a nice wooden handle, can take you up to over 200 psi in pressure. And then you've got this large storage chamber. And on this model, there's two models from Lazine. This is the digital. You've got a beautifully inset digital gauge, very accurate. And so what you would do is um, you start by loading the chamber with the foot piece up, and then you basically start pressurizing the chamber. And you'll keep pumping until you've got this main chamber right up to around 200 psi. You can't over pressurize it because it's got a blow out valve. I mean for speed purposes I'm just going to go to like 50 psi. Then you detach the ABS2 chuck onto your valve simply by pushing forward and a quick twist and it's attached. And then you just push this lever down here and all that pressure that's inside the main chamber is released into the tyre and it seats that tyre quickly and perfectly onto the rim. Pop, pop. Done. And until now, there aren't been many ways to do this. There's a couple of other pumps on the market, but nobody does a digital one. And once you've released that air into the tyre, you can then use the pump in the normal way. So this is both a high pressure and a high volume pump. And there's really only one pump now if you're using high volume and you're doing tubeless, or you're a workshop kind of guy, then this pump literally does absolutely everything.